Be honest with me, do you miss the chronological feed on Instagram that allowed you to scroll through and see everybody's posts rather than the ranked content feeds that we have right now that are based on popularity? If you do, I have good news for you because Instagram has announced that they are working toward actually allowing us to choose what type of feed we want to see. That means in the future, the beginning of 2022, they are going to be rolling out the option to choose chronological in two different formats or that ranked content. So let me break down exactly what this is and what it looks like so you can know what to expect. Now, ranked content is popularized content. It's the way that people engage with comments and shares and interactions on posts. They are then going to take that popular post and show it to you before some of the smaller creators. And that's because they have a higher engagement rate. They've got a lot more interaction on it. And you are seeing what they think you're going to like based on what other people like. Now, chronologically means they are going to be posted in a timely fashion. So if I post a, a post three seconds ago, you're going to see that before somebody that posted five minutes ago. So chronological means in time order. And because they're giving us options with this, you're going to have the option of going with the ranked popular post or chronological in two different ways. Now, currently they're testing one of those ways and they said they're very shortly following going to be testing out a, an expanded version of this. So the first way is to pick a list of favorites, content creators that you like to see and create that list and you're gonna see those people's posts first in chronological order, then the other ranked content as you're scrolling through the feed. That's something they're working on right now. They're testing it right now and they're looking to roll this out at the beginning of next year. Now. They are looking to expand this as well because they want to make sure that if we want the option of everyone that we follow, every account that we follow in chronological order, that they're going to be able to give us that as well, what it used to be on Instagram a long, long time ago. So right now that is not in the testing stage just yet. They're kind of figuring out what's going on with favorites. Then they're going to be implementing the full list of followers in chronological order. And as content users and consumers, we are going to be able to then set our preferences, whether or not we want the ranked content, the popular things, or chronological order based on our favorite content, our favorites list, or based on the entire list of people that we are following in chronological order. So that's going to be something we're able to then figure out as we go. We're going to decide what we want for our personal feeds and we will have more control over that. Now again, this doesn't mean they're moving away from ranking. They're still going to be doing that, but that chronological way is going to give us the opportunity to consume content the way that we want and also maybe give people a little bit of edge because now we will be seen if people said it, if people said it, to chronological order, we're going to have the same ability to be seen as the popular creators. So if people are following more popular people than us, we still have that same creative edge to be seen if they're following in chronological order. So we want to make sure that we are deciding if that's going to be a good fit for us or not and educating our viewers when the time comes on setting it to chronological or not setting it to chronological. Depending on where you fall and how much engagement you get, this is going to be really, really helpful or it's just going to keep letting you be seen if people are putting you as their favorites or if you are constantly putting out a lot of content. Now this will shift how we're doing content. So the more content you put out, that when people have you in chronological form, the more you're going to be seen. So you may want to decide on creating a little extra content or having some backup content just to check and see if it's going to work best for you to see if you're going to get more engagement when the time comes. Now remember, this is still in the testing phase. It is not available to the public yet. This is not something you can access yet, but it will be in early 2022. We don't have a date on it yet, but we know they're working toward it. So figure out what you want to do in terms of your content. Start building up extra content now in case you want to test it out when this rolls out to see if it's going to work to your advantage. And then we're going to work together at that time to educate our followers on setting it to chronological or maybe not, depending on what's going to work best for you and your individual followers. Hit the subscribe and notification bell. I'll be bringing you continued updates on this specific feature and all the breaking news on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, live streaming, and the tools and resources you can use to grow on social media and create more money inside of your business through your smart and easy social media content creation. I'll be answering your questions down below and I'll see you in the next video. We're dropping daily videos and weekly live streams to get your questions answered here on the channel. I'll see you then.